okay, how do we disable and enable various block content? In the last screencast, we actually looked at um, the block regions, and now what I'd like to do is figure out how do we take stuff out of block uh, block regions. Um, let's go to structure here and let's have a look at what's going on. I'm going to click on blocks and let's take a look at what block content is currently enabled by default and we'll see a few things. These, by the way, you know what I'll do. I'll go ahead and demonstrate these block regions here in Bartek so we can just get a little reminder of all the different block regions that are available to us. Okay. Um, okay, so looking at all the blocks that are available to us, here is a list of all the block content or the, you know, and there's the block region region name is right here. Okay, um, this is more or less in order from top to bottom, more or less. Um, we'll see, uh, let's go through these sequentially. Okay, it says under header, no blocks in this region. If we go over here, header currently says that there's nothing in there. Okay, that's fine. System help, all right, system help is currently located in the help block region right here. Um, what does system help mean? That's basically any system help messages that show up will automatically show up right there. Let's not worry about it. That's a good place for that to be. Let's not worry about that. Okay, highlighted and featured. We have no blocks currently located in this region. Highlighted and featured. Okay. And when I said it, you know, they, they show up top to bottom. That's roughly speaking. Okay. Um, okay, here's interesting. Content. What is content? Okay, well, content. the content block region is this block block right here, okay, down here, and currently it's set so that any main page content uh, will get placed in that content block region, okay. That makes sense, and um, as we go through, I'm going to show you this, okay, as we move through. Uh, for now, just let's just kind of park that for now. Let's take a look at something that's pretty straightforward to understand. Here's sidebar first, okay. Sidebar first is what's over here, and according to this, we currently have search form, navigation, and user login located in the sidebar first. I'm going to go ahead and open the actual site here and take a look if this is actually the case. And yeah, it looks like it is. We see, what does it say here? It says that the search form is in the sidebar first. The search form is there. Then it says navigation. Yeah, there's the navigation block re block right there. And then finally it says user login. I don't see a user login box, but that makes sense. Um, Drupal's pretty smart. It figures that if you're logged in, you don't need to see a user login box, okay? So that's pretty smart. Um, so this content is here and it's showing up in the same order as it is right here. See, search form is above the navigation and likewise search form is above the navigation. If we wanted to change that, all we'd need to do is just drag that like that. And we'll see up here, Drupal gives us a nice little alert message saying, just a reminder, hey, changes will not be saved until the save blocks button is clicked. So let's go ahead and click save blocks. And we'll get Drupal to save those changes. All right, and now let's go ahead and reload this and see if that worked. And it sure did. It actually uh, moved that. So now we know how to move content around. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Now, what about getting rid of content? Okay, I'm looking at this. I'm seeing this navigation block. I don't really, I don't think I really need this block right here. I'm just as happy clicking the add content button up here to be able to add new content. So what if I wanted to get rid of that? I'm going to go back to blocks over here. And there's a couple different ways we can get rid of that. Okay, we could, because this is drag and drop, we could just drag this down and put it into the disabled section down here. This basically means that uh, anything that's down here will not actually be be will not will will be taken out of your site. It doesn't actually delete the content. Okay, that doesn't mean that we can no longer add content. It just basically means that it's not showing up on the page. Okay, I'm going to put it back up here though, uh, just to show you a different way that we can do this. Okay, this was right here. Actually, it doesn't really matter where it was because we're going to take it out anyways. Um, we could also under region over here, we could select the region right there. If you don't feel like dragging and dropping around, okay, you could just go up here and say, you know what, put that in none. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save Blocks. And that essentially does the same thing. It just moves that navigation down over here to the very, very bottom of your list under the word Disabled. And so let's just hit Reload now. And what do you think will happen? Yeah, the navigation block is gone. And all we see is now just the, the, uh, 
the the uh, the search box up here. Okay, let's have does it, does is it like that for uh, over here too? Like here on in Safari where I'm not logged in. Let's reload this and see what's going on. Okay, um, it's still like that, um, but I'm seeing this user login box. And do you remember on the very very first screencast I talked about how? Um, in a lot of cases, you, when you first go to, when you hit the front page of a Drupal site, you won't have a user login box, okay? Because that's, that's sometimes you don't necessarily want to make it terribly obvious to people how to log into your site. If it's not like a that type of a site, if it's not a membership-based site or subscription-based site, you know, you might not need to advertise the fact that you've got a user login. You could just assume that your users will know how to log in. They'll know how to add user to the end of here. So what would we do if we wanted to get rid of this? Let's head back over here. Let's click to structure. Let's click on blocks. And under here, you guessed it, under sidebar first, I could just go ahead and select none. That moves that user login block content all the way down to the bottom here to disabled. Let's click save blocks. All right, and let's go back here to see if it's worked. I'm gonna go ahead and hit reload. And there we go. We've simplified the front page. There's no longer a, a login block there. However, my users can still log in by going to user. They can still log in there. That's not a problem at all. Okay. Um, so, I mean, uh, hopefully this is obvious now. Any block can be added or removed from any block region, including, including, let's actually take a look down here. See this powered by Drupal? If you didn't want that there, you could actually take that out as well. You could actually just switch that to there and we could go save blocks and you wouldn't necessarily have to advertise to the entire world that this the CMS that you're using is Drupal. Um, and so, and that's totally up to you. I mean, I love Drupal, but you don't necessarily have to advertise your technology. Um, so yeah, you can actually enable and disable specific blog content. How do you how do you re-enable block content? What if you decide, oh, you know what? I actually do want that, you know, I do want that add new user content uh, or add new content back in here, the navigation thing. Uh, we could just go back here. Remember this navigation one? This is the one that we had actually taken out of sidebar first. Let's go ahead and put it back in sidebar first. It doesn't have to go to sidebar first. We could put it elsewhere, but let's say we do that. And yeah, I think we'll put it, yeah, we'll put it underneath the search form. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's go back to Safari and let's hit reload. Well, actually, we should go to the front page. And what do you think is going to happen? We're just waiting for it to load. As soon as it loads, what do you think is going to happen? Why didn't that navigation thing show up there? See, I tried to trick you. Because we're not currently logged in as an, as an editor. Regular users or regular, you know, drive-by visitors cannot add content to your site. So Drupal's not going to show, you know, user, um, you know, anonymous users stuff that they can't do, okay? In order to see that, we'd actually have to go to the front page ourselves. And there we go. There's the navigation block is there. It's viewable to us, okay? One last thing I want to point out to you is something that you may have been noticing as I hover over these blocks. You may, may have noticed this little um, this little settings thing, this gear icon right here. And these are what we call contextual menus. And we'll notice that um, you see these a lot, actually. Um, you'll see these, uh, I'll, I'll show you lots of other examples as we go, but this is really cool because look what you can do. We could actually go in here and we can actually go and configure the block just by doing that. And that brings us to a page where we can actually make some choices about that block as well too. But we'll look into that into more detail in, in the future. But for now, you now know how to move, um, how to enable and disable specific block content. And uh, and in the next screen task, cast, we're going to look at moving blocks from one region to, into, into another and what happens when we do that. Okay. Um, but for now, I hope that that was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.